you get on a plane, you are no longer in control of your life. It may sound extreme, but in many ways it's true. When the cabin door shuts, the plane takes off. It's up to the flight crew to keep us safe. Just trying to get to the end. This weekend, Michael Cody was on a United flight from Newark to Denver. There was a little commotion when they were doing the drink service. Officials say the argument started after a woman tried to recline her seat. The man behind her used a plastic gadget called a knee defender to stop the seat from moving towards him. That's when Cody says the two started arguing. The woman put her seat back into the guy and he shoved it forward and then she threw her drink on him. The man refused to move the device when asked by the flight attendant. Maybe half hour later the pilot came on and said that they decided to divert us to Chicago. You are obligated to comply. It is a federal offense not to comply with an instruction by a flight crew member. Nine News aviation expert Greg Feith says it's up to the flight crew to determine if passenger safety is at risk and unruly passengers can face serious punishment. Anywhere from imprisonment if it's a serious violation to a civil penalty, they can file federal charges. And in this case, the FAA says they are not investigating. The situation was deemed to be a customer service issue. The passengers were removed from the plane, but they were not arrested. And Kim, as you can imagine, this was quite frustrating for a lot of the folks on board. Yeah, you heard many of them say, just grow up, people. Right. I, 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 this sparked a lot of interest, though, in this knee defender. However, what a lot of airlines don't even allow you to bring it on. They don't. And, you know, the company says that sales have spiked since the story broke. But as you said, most U.S. companies don't even allow this type of device on board.